everyone today I have come on a little day trip um, from Manchester we've driven about an hour from Manchester and we've come to our very first stop of the day Derwent Reservoir which is where we are now so we're gonna be going to a few different places today we're gonna do like a big long country walk hopefully an hour and a half walk I read online that this walk was medium difficulty because I think we're actually going up that big valley which we'll see if we manage to do that because running a bit short on time now because we got here a bit late it's about 11 o'clock now and all the car parks were completely full so that's a tip for you guys on a day like today when it's completely clear and sunny it's really really busy and everyone's out so we managed to get a parking spot like on the edge of a car park area it costs about three quid for two hours and then we're going to be going to some caverns and we're going to be going on a boat under the cavern so stay tuned for that we're also going to go to a castle as well hopefully if we have time and then to finish off the day we're going to go for a sunday roast <laughs> Uh, we've only gone up a small bit of an incline and now we're on flat surface so it hasn't been that hard so far I thought this bit would be a lot harder but I don't think we've actually gone up high enough to be doing the walk that we should be doing or we were going to do so I think we may have gone the other way around oh well it's still really pretty and nice because we've got the dam right next to us and all the reflections are really really pretty look how amazing this reflection is on the water over here looks like an artist painting and then like the contrast with the dark blue water and then the green moss it's just so so pretty we don't have to go on the one and a half hour walk that we intended to go on i don't think we've got enough time anyway have we nope <laughs> i think we're going to turn back now because our parking runs out shortly and we've got to walk all the way back just wanted to mention that you can also rent bikes i think from february to november and ride along here so this would be a good little itinerary if you're thinking about coming to the peak district and you don't know what to see or what to do that's what this video will be good for We've just got hot chocolate from the kiosk. It was £1.70 for a small and £2 for a large. But if you don't want to go to a restaurant for lunch, you can always bring a picnic here or we can get something from the kiosk. It's actually quite good value for money for like a touristy park. How much for the paninis? £3.90. Yeah. That's quite reasonable. And stuff um, spuds. And stuff spuds or jacket potatoes. So that's a lot cheaper and you can sit here there's park benches and stuff so we're going to walk down to arcana and drive to the cavern and do our little cavern tour which i'm really excited about the dog Right guys, welcome to the Titanic. I'm not messed about, this boat is made of solid steel. Just like the Titanic, so what could possibly go wrong? A bit of health and safety before we head on. 
except one of the youngest to work down here and the smallest so they could fit. So on your guys' left hand side now is the hole. So five kids, ten adults and all their tools in that one hole. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god. If we're being honest, you're not going to fit everyone in that hole, are you? Like, in a little town called Tideswell. It's got a pretty church and some nice pretty buildings. And there's where we're going for lunch or afternoon tea, lunch. It's called the Merchant's Yard. Look how big this is. Oh, look how happy you look. What do you think, Joel? <laughs> Gravy. We've got beef and pork. I've already tried a little bit of the beef. Wait, is this beef or pork? I don't even know. Yeah. The gravy's really nice. Oh my god. I love cauliflower cheese. Ooh, look at these raw skis.